The comorbidities um, or secondary symptoms uh, that some I have found go along with uh, individuals that have um, an autistic spectrum condition, I found there's high levels, um, as in, not high levels, but rather quite a lot of people have um, anxiety and depression alongside, running alongside it. In my experience over the years, that anxiety and depression tend to be um, comorbidities that I find I come across quite a lot uh, among different individuals. Um, I have also supported individuals that have um, Asperger's syndrome as well as ADHD. Um, I have supported individuals that have um, an eating disorder as well as Asperger's syndrome. And so a, a lot, uh, there are comorbidities between mental health conditions and uh, autistic spectrum conditions. Um, quite, a, uh, quite a few comorbidities running through there. And, and panic attacks. Um, panic attacks I have also found um, are, are another secondary symptom um, of when people have uh, autism or um, Asperger's syndrome. That, uh, and sometimes they've also been diagnosed separately as a panic disorder. And I have come across individuals and supported them um, with, with the dual diagnosis of that. Those comorbid conditions where we have um, a young person on the autistic uh, spectrum with other complex issues um, such as um, ADHD, such as opposition, opposition defiance. Um, we can find that that compulsivity and that sensory need that they tend to be getting um, can be one highly disruptive uh, but two can can make can put a young person into a position whereby we need to address issues quite quickly and de-escalate de them um, before we get to a situation where um, a very inflexible young person um, could be showing uh, certain behaviours that really, really challenge.